Hello, I'm uh, Phil Marshall. I work at Stanford University at the Kavli Institute for Particle Astrophysics and Cosmology. I'm a physicist and I weigh galaxies. We do this using a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. This happens when you have two galaxies aligned just right on the sky. So we look for these in, in surveys of the sky with the Hubble Space Telescope. What you see is something like a, a, a massive elliptical galaxy here and right behind it, in the far distance, uh, a little faint blue galaxy. And if the alignment is just right, you can have the situation where the light from the background object can come this way round into the telescope, or this way round. Deflection is just due to the gravity of this thing. In fact, if the alignment is just right, both things happen, and you see two images, one here and one here. Sometimes four images, sometimes a distorted ring. But what I want to show you today is a different kind of model of a lens, where we can use everyday objects to simulate how gravitational lensing works. So here's our everyday object that we can use to, to simulate a lens, the wine glass. Turns out that this shape here at the bottom of the stem of the wine glass has almost the same optical properties as a massive galaxy. Looking through the base of it, what I need now is a source in the background. So here's a background light source. What I need now is a source in the background. Okay, so if I just look right through the base down here, I can see two images. Oh, there's four. Two again. And if I look right down the barrel of the lens, right down the optical axis, down like this, I can see a complete ring of light, an Einstein ring, when the alignment between the foreground galaxy and the background galaxy is just right. So you can try this next time you're at a dinner party. Pick up a wine glass, see if you can see the lensing effect.